Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Warframe has just announced that Wukong Prime, the Zuj Prime, and Nikondi Prime will be entering the Prime Vault soon. Soon being May 25th. So we have two full weeks to farm up Wukong Prime, Zuj Prime, and Nikondi Prime. You know what that means. That's right, let's go over where to farm a Wukong Prime, and naturally it'll probably and definitely be where to farm up everything else. So I believe at the moment Wukong Prime is the one Prime that still has a metric ton of relics that are available to farm. So we'll just quickly go over each one from top to bottom of rarity to least rare, and then, you know, you guys can go farm it up if needed. Okay, first we have his Axie T6. No shock here, they just drop from general high tier missions. So just farm up your most popular high level mission that you like. You'll be getting the Wukong Prime chassis blueprint as an uncommon. And then look at that, Tenoro, Teko, Zakti, Paris. Yeah, you'll get more stuff afterwards. But the funny thing is, I think there's in total almost like 10 relics, so... We'll go through all of them. Here we have Axie W2. That gives you the rare drop Wukong Prime Blueprint and then the general just other stuff here. And again, you can do ISO Vaults Tier 1 for these if you want, but they also just drop in high level missions. So I would, as always, just do your favorite type of mission. Relic packs are always, you know, a gamble, but you probably have a lot of the Wukong Prime relics already if you've at least somewhat been playing, so it's always worth checking out your inventory. Here we have Axie Z1, another high level drop source relic packs and high level mission Axie relic. This one will give you Wukong Prime Neuraltics blueprint as the common, ah, said that kind of weird, and then just the other two with other stuff. So this one shouldn't be too bad, common drops, you probably already even have it, high level missions, nothing out of the ordinary here. It's pretty much if you're just playing the game, you'll probably have a good amount of these if you just run general high level missions. Here we have Axie A11 giving us the Wukong Prime Systems Blueprint. I believe I've used up all of mine recently because I picked up a bunch from Lua Apollo myself, but yeah, I seem to have used them all up. Of course, I already have all this, so it's not like I'm personally worried, but again, all of the stuff is pretty much dropped in the same general level, so high tier everything, void mod if you like, survival, Lua Apollo, disruption, like just do whatever you personally want to do. Disruption, Lua Apollo is as always the fastest and recommended Axie farming spot, but naturally, it's always up to you, right? Neo N13 right here will give you the Wukong Prime Chassis Blueprint as an uncommon. Ooh, and the rare is a Nija Prime Chassis Blueprint. Cool. As you can see, this one drops in a lot of areas because it's a Neo, meaning more room for mid-level mission drop chances. So I would say run high levels just whatever if you want to mid-level whatever. Of course, maps which are high level, faster chance of dropping the Neo Relic on first rotation. And if they're a bit lower mid-level, you know, it'll probably drop the Neo Relic on B or C rotation. Iso Vaults. So you can just run Iso Vaults, but yeah, you'll get a lot of stuff. This gives you Wukong Prime Jassy, Blueprint, as the uncommon yet again. So I have a ton, so clearly I'm good. Remember to farm up a ton if you're gonna sell them later on for Platinum, but if you just want to have it, farm it up, boys. Ah yes, Neo T2. This one will give you the Wukong Prime Neuroptics Blueprint as the common, but Teko Prime Blade rare. I have a ton of these myself. Drops in a lot of areas as well, so same general situation with the last Neo. Just do whichever missions you really want. See, Lu Apollo will give you it on the first one if you end up getting a B rank, but... Yeah, I would just do it. Just play the game, mid-level missions. You should honestly have no problems just running any relics, pugs, whatnot, in Meso, Neo, and Axie to just get Wukong parts as well. So, do what you need to do. And the last one is Neo Z7, Drop Sources, Relic Pack, ooh, the Arcwing. As you can see, same as the other ones, a lot of mid-tier missions, a lot of high-tier missions. So you can do some bounties and the ISO vault bounties. Yeah, just do tier one, you'll get all the drops. <laughs> no, not really. I would say just run whatever missions here you want. Apollo, Akkad, Cerberus, right? Not realistically, doesn't matter. Always do what you want to do. I myself like just destroying the enemies, so survivals are cool and captures are also cool if I just want to speed run. So 
It's always up to you, right? Ooh, now we have Meso K3 coming down to the last of the relics with the Meso Relics. This one will give you Wukong Prime, a chassis blueprint as the uncommon, and look at all of this other beautiful stuff it'll give you. As always, for the Meso Relics, these ones are low to mid, and sometimes high level, but as you can see, it drops from pretty much all of Neptune, Pluto, a lot of the Void, Saturn, and yeah, there's a ton of places you can pick it up, Sanctuary Onslaught even. You shouldn't have any troubles having a ton of these in your inventory if you play the game actively and run a variety of missions, but yeah, it really depends when you've played, as always, so yeah, if you have some, pop them. If not, go pick them up. Maybe you'll just run some fast void speed runs. It's always up to you. And last but not least, we have Meso T4 Relic. This will give you Wukong Prime Systems Blueprint as the uncommon. And the rare is a cool old Tenora Prime Receiver. So I would, yeah, get these if you want. You can farm everything that you need easily. Iso Vault Tier 1 still. So just do whatever, honestly. I can't say it enough. Like, there's just too much variety of missions to even matter. And it's definitely up to what you want to run at the time. I don't think it's personally a good idea to try to speed farm one specific relic. I think the relic should always be the secondary thing you farm because you'll always be farming resources wherever you'll go in some of these maps. So might as well farm resources for something you need rather than resources for something you don't need. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, I would appreciate if you were to subscribe, rate, like, check out any of my social or my Amazon affiliate links in the description. And honestly, just thank you guys for being here. I appreciate anyone who can give me their time, really. So thank you all, and I'll see you next time. Peace.